Welcome to Star Seeds and Star Breeds on YouTube and Facebook. Welcome everyone with an introduction to Starseeds and Starbreeds.com. And at this moment in time, we are all about awakening in this age of enlightenment called the Age of Aquarius. Today we are healing past lives, generations of problems, bad habits, hurts, hang-ups, and our family DNA. I was born on November 22nd through December 23rd at the sun sign in Sagittarius. The sun is about our soul, our self-manifestations, and the energy we give towards how we live our lives. When the sun is in Sagittarius, we want to manifest our journey of how to be a hero in our own lives and how we can be courageous and willing to be a hero to others. The house of Sagittarius is just that. The ninth house, a hero's journey, on planet Earth at this time of enlightenment, for our age and this time in history. This Gemini full cold moon was the last full moon of 2019. The full moon is about releasing what no longer serves us at this moment in time. The full moon in Gemini is curious and hungry for ideas and information. It can bring sudden awareness to our lives and a rather urgent need to know, to get an important message across, to finish a communications project, or to make an announcement. Travel and communications are in sharp focus. All of this info can be found at cafeastrology.com or I post on Star Seas and Star Breeds. Um, group Facebook page every full moon all this information so you can find the link to the cafeastrology.com this week in astrology website page. Cafe Astrology is probably one of the most comprehensive pages for Western astrology on the web. If you would also like to know what the planets are in the sidereal astrology or Vedic astrology I use astrobix.com and their ephemeris. And I also post this info on the Star Season Star Breeds Facebook group page every week during the next moon phase. In Western astrology, the equinoxes and solstices start the season with the cardinal signs of the zodiac. And at the time of the new moon phase. As you can see, Libra season starts off the autumn equinox and Capricorn will be starting off the winter solstice on December 26th with the eclipse also in Capricorn. In the middle of every season, or the second month of a season, fixed signs take over. Like last month when November was Scorpio season, the middle of the fall in the northern hemisphere. So finally, the mutable signs of the zodiac end every season. Sagittarius season will end the fall, and the car cardinal signs will come again to start Capricorn season and the winter solstice, with Capricorn new moon on December 26, and also the Capricorn solar eclipse of the sun. At StarSeasonStarBreeze.com, we do focus on the moon a lot. Not to say that the sun doesn't matter, it's where we get our energy, but it's really about the asterisms, which are the stars, the planets, the asteroids, are at in your birth chart. For our life purpose though, it's all about the nodes of the moon. This is where we find our north node, which defines where our soul purpose is, or where our work for humanity lies, which is our whole purpose for experiencing this human life as an everlasting and infinite soul. Since the soul lives forever, the south node represents our past life information that we can use in this life to be triumphant with this new life purpose and can help us with our abundance, which is the key of what we accomplish in our soul purpose, because it's where we find our abundance in all things in this lifetime, whether it be monetary or love or family or friends or everyday things, whatever makes you feel abundant. Okay, so it's super easy to find your nodes of the moon. It only has to be found with your birth month and your birth year. 
and there are only a couple of websites that I have found that, quick, that can quickly tell you your life purpose and give you advice on what to embrace for the first two weeks of every new moon phase and what we need to release for every full moon phase. If you don't have time to look for these or look them up for yourself, please watch my videos or contact me at starseasonstarbase.com or on our Facebook group page. Or you can email me at jar at starseasonstarbreeds.com and I will be happy to help you. My, um, the nodes of the moon this year are in Capricorn and Cancer. The north node is in Cancer and the south node is in Capricorn. However, I have mine in Capricorn as my north node and Cancer as my south node. So it's you use this table for either one. And so since those are the nodes of the moon this year and with every eclipse is either in Cancer or Capricorn. So our life purpose is really important because it only happens every 18 years that our nodes of the moon are in this place from the year that we were born in. So as you can see, I've highlighted Capricorn and Cancer. And Libra and Aries are directly across from us. So those also might apply to you. The energies with the eclipses are very prominent in the cardinal signs. So uh, look for the eclipse energy to be prominent for at least six months after the eclipse. So this is the chart that I would use. I highlighted my birth date, which is between April 28, 1972 through October 27, 1973. And my birthday month is October 1972. So I use Capricorn North Node and Cancer South Node to find my information for my life purpose. So right now we're at the end of this fall season. So the Gemini North Node and mutable signs will be most prominent of the energies going out right now. So this is what you would release with the full moon for these two weeks of the end of this fall season before we start the winter solstice. So for the winter solstice, when we get to the full moon, um, we use the beginning uh, of the season with the eclipse energy of Cancer of the of Cancer and Capricorn and all the cardinal signs. But we only release with the full moon and the third quarter moon. We embrace with the new moon. So fixed signs is the middle of the season. So if you have your north or south node in any of the fixed signs, you will want to release according to this, this chart. However, if you feel like you want, if any of the charts uh, pertain to you, you can release. But it's really, uh, it really has to do with the full moon and the third quarter moon. So whatever pertains to you is what I go by and what I release. And you can write it down to manifest with the full moon and the third quarter moon. And <laughs> old school PowerPoint presentation. Um, hopefully, um, you will go to my website at starseasonstarbreeds.com, or you can find us on Facebook. Um, the website is under construction right now. Um, but I am making adjustments and the whole point of the website is for raising positive vibes and the frequency and the energy for the collective we are a believer in Christ consciousness and mostly it's a website that gives you information about the planets um, animals and indigenous people and humanity and how to make a difference in the world What I specialize in is your life purpose, so if you would like free readings, just join the website today, and if you would like to see our Facebook group, 
go to the website and click click on Star Season Star Breeds on Facebook. It'll take you straight to our page, our group page. I also have a Divine Feminine page that I'm working on. So if you have any questions about Divine Feminines or you'd like to join the group, um, please click on that. You can find that in the Star Season Star Breed Facebook group page as well. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to do some more videos on the autumn fall season. Um, and just the seasons in general. I'm going to do my knowing of the Divine Feminine and the Moon. And I'm going to do a video on the vibration, frequency, and energy of the planets. As well as a life purpose video. So please stay tuned for those. Okay, again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another life purpose tarot reading for the Gemini full cold moon. It's the last reading for the fixed signs. Taurus Scorpio, Leo Aquarius. Hello, this is Jennifer again with Star Season Star Breeds. I'm doing my third video for the Full Moon in Gemini. This is for the fixed signs of Taurus Scorpio, Leo Aquarius. Um, I was supposed to do this video a couple days ago for when the moon was in Leo, but I got sidetracked, so um, today the moon has moved into Virgo, and the third quarter moon is tomorrow, so I'll have a batch of new videos for that. Um, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, and North Nodes and those fixed signs. So um, I was trying to explain in my first video about tarot cards and how I didn't know what they were. I mean I did know what they were but I had never seen them or really looked at them. I saw people get readings um, from psychics but I was just always, it wasn't really my parents, it was just family I guess that were very Catholic, that thought you could not really, it wasn't really about the devil, it was more about, you know, just summoning spirits and stuff. So, you know, I was taught just, I guess, not to believe in that stuff. And when my friends had Ouija boards out and stuff, I never really took it seriously. And I thought you could summon the devil <laughs> or summon something and, you know, that's really what it is it's like as long as you pray and you work for the light and not the dark you know that's when it gets it gets weird so but light workers aren't about that so when I learned that I was an empath and a light worker um, this is the first deck I got I didn't know what oral cards were I didn't know what tarot cards were I didn't know there was a difference so I bought this and it's an oracle book and it's an oracle card uh, of 44 cards so and tarot cards are 78 cards so these are more of a guidance um, affirmations uh, spiritual terms that people need to know and it just um, gives you advice on you know maybe things that you've seen in your life and and it gives an explanation of uh, the spirituality behind it so I really love this book I think I bought it yeah I bought it I I put last year in February of 2018. So I'm going to do the invocation and I'll get on to the reading. Uh, the first ray of power is energy of conscious destruction. It can, uh, yeah, it can be used in a healthy way to eliminate the past and allow for the fresh start. The first ray also carries the frequency of leadership. It can assist you to stand in the truth of your light so others can find their way by it. It helps to strengthen your willpower so you can accomplish any task you choose. The Ascended Master El Moria 
brings you this, his particular blessing and encourages you to believe in your own strength and to initiate and and to take the initiative on what matters to you most. If you are confused about which path to take or whether to continue a certain relationship, course of action, or lifestyle choice, the first way of ray of power will clarify clarify matters for you. When it moves through our lives, whatever is holding us back will be removed, either through circumstances seemingly beyond our own control or by our own actions, based on a sudden and inner knowing. Invocation. I now accept of my own free will the blessing and grace of the first ray of power in my life through unconditional love and divine mercy. I surrender my life into the loving hands of the universe to align me with my higher will and the most beautiful expression of my life journey. I call upon the loving assistance of the genuine Ascended Master, El Moria, in all aspects of his process and ask that the first ray of power be expressed in ways that serve the greatest good on this planet, that all beings walk their true divine path. Through divine grace, so be it. Oops. Okay. So let's see where the energy is at today. We do a roll of the dice. Oops. I know that was an eight. So we have the sun, Virgo, eighth house, and that's eight, nine, ten. Ten of pentacles. Pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. This is all about your abundance. Um, it could be wealth, monetary wealth, or it could be, yeah, monetary wealth, your pentacles. And Virgo, the moon's in Virgo, so we might be serving others with love and light today. That's the sixth house of Virgo. And eight is about, the eighth house is transformation, beginnings and endings. It's Scorpio, so Mars is in Scorpio right now. So this might be masculine energy. Uh, fiery energy leading our eighth and we have the Sun which is all about fire in our energy today and that's in Sagittarius and Mercury is also in Sagittarius but this is about the Sun about our energy okay so you might have look up those in your chart and if you need help with your chart let me know you can email me at jar at starseasonstarbreeds.com. Okay. So, let's see. I was talking about tarot cards. I just wanted to say I love art and everything magical. So, that's what drew me to the cards. Um, you know, it's, it's all about creativity, which I love, and artwork, and the Torah, and... Um, you know, it's not about summoning, it's about working with spirit and, and your own energy and the collective energy that's going on. And so that's why I'm really drawn to reading. I really love watching other people read, but you know, it's supposed to be my new job. My North node is in Capricorn, which is all about work and career. And my South node is Cancer, which is about home and stability, which is also the moon. So in my past life, in cancer, I was probably um, a motherly figure, probably stayed home, um, and the North Node is all about the masculine energy, um, and that's where I think my masculine and feminine are at. We have to balance out that energy, and feminines are supposed to take on that masculine energy, especially this year, which is a third year. Uh, number three year in numerology so and they're calling it the, in spirituality and esoteric um, occultism especially tarot card readers are calling it <clears throat> or any spiritual sites um, the year of the divine feminine and next year is supposed to be divine masculine which is, will be a year four which is really 
cancer, home instability. So I think that those are the energies we're supposed to take on. Um, opposites. <laughs> yeah. Um, because my Capricorn, and, that, and those are where uh, this year, 2019 until I believe July of next year, um, the north nodes of the moon are in Cancer and Capricorn. And this full moon eclipse is going to be in Capricorn. <clears throat> so we definitely... <clears throat> My throat's dry. Hold on. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, my. I need a drink of water. <laughs> okay, so I was saying about um, the North Node. It's in Cancer this year. South Node is Capricorn. But it's still. Uh, either way, when they say the poles flip, um, <clears throat> we're really taking on the same energy anyway. So those with Cancer. North node, south node, Capricorn, north node, south node. Um, either one, the energy is the same. We're supposed to release um, with the full moon and the third quarter moon. And with the new moon, we embrace. So we're still releasing. We're still in that also eclipse energy, which is going to be in Capricorn on Christmas. So that's going to be a really powerful time. So right now we're really needing to release. Because when the new moon comes on, on Christmas, it's all about embracing. And so we really have to release right now for the next week to get on our path and, and for Christmas. And I think most people know that Jesus was resurrected during an eclipse. It's an annular e eclipse, so we'll see a little bit of the sun. But the sun behind the moon projects all that energy from the moon. We'll get all energy that when the the sun is eclipsed by the moon, it, it's behind it. We get all that moon energy, doubled, tripled. Not sure, but yeah. So um, it'll be really cool. It's gonna be like you'll just be able to see a sliver of the sun. And I was thinking about tarot cards. Um, it's all about for me healing. And that's what Star Season Star Breeds is all about, helping others and awakening to our life purpose. And that's what all my readings are about, is our life purpose. And those are the nodes of the moon. Um, like the North Node is, and in mythology, um, I'm doing a video on that now, for the numbers and the energy, vibration, frequency of the houses and the constellations. And that will be coming up this week, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but as I was saying about helping others, it's about um, this fear that is instilled in people. Um, we're going through this awakening process, and everybody's awakening right now. So we have to heal our DNA, the family traits that you know our ancestors have passed down to us. Because the soul never dies and we just keep going on and on. So, we're really trying to heal that to, for humanity to ascend to a different dimension. And we're healing all those hurts, habits, and hang-ups. Like my friend Jaylene says. So, I'm all about helping others with addictions, which I struggle with. Um, past DNA. Um, the ascension of human humans. Indians and Mesoamericans say that this is the fifth sun, so that's like everything combined into one, like earthquakes, you know, so we're going to have to get to a higher level and help planet Earth ascend while, you know, helping each other get through that phase because the planet's changing and we have to know um, what's going on. We have to pay attention to weather, animals, our food, everything, because... Um, as you know, new children that are being born are smarter than ever. They have this, they already know their past life and we had to learn it for ourselves. We had this kind of, um, amnesia. So <clears throat> it's exciting. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> my last two readings were really crazy. Uh, my first two readings, I mean, uh, the first video, which was for mut mutable signs of Sag. Uh, Gemini and 
Ugh. Yeah, Sag, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, which are the energies right now. Also with the Sir Quarter Moon, since the Virgo, uh, the Moon's in Virgo right now. Um, I think the first video for Divine Femmes was about married women, um, probably with the Sun, Moon, or North Node in Sag or Gemini. And it seemed like um, maybe was stuck in the lower chakras. Um, maybe a divine feminine with that's already married, you know, has children, but not really on her life purpose or in her path for a divine purpose. So, um, you know, her higher self, it seemed like, was trying to talk to her about um, not concentrating so much on love. Because she was really in love with her heart chakra and her lower uh, masculine energy. <laughs> but at, um, with her higher self, she was all about pentacles. So it seemed a little off. So it's probably about, um, yeah, a divine feminine maybe in her, uh, you know, that's already been the mother but needing to get into her life purpose maybe through work um sag is about the hero's journey about your how to be a hero to others and stepping into that path and then for um the divine masculine uh, it looked like he was feeling really successful and doing stuff but wasn't really spending much time or energy on his life purpose either so it's kind of stuck in pentacles and other people. So that was, yeah, it took me a while to figure that reading out. <laughs> it, was, it was kind of weird. But um, the second video for the cardinal signs was really bad. Uh, it felt like the divine feminine was everywhere. And those are my signs. The cardinal signs, Cancer Capricorn are my north node, south node. Aries is my ascendant. Libra is my sun sign. So I'm all about the cardinal signs and divine feminine was all over the place. It seemed like not feeling creative or inspired. She was stuck in all those chakras and a lot of angels around her, Archangel Michael, and just needed to change all of her energy. So, but it seemed like her and the divine masculine were mirroring in the, of the higher realm, the fifth dimension. And because Divine Masculine was manifesting all over the place, he had in his root chakra the magician, and then in his third eye he had um, the high priestess. So, but in the middle was the devil, and that was talking about obsessive behavior. And in the heart chakra, I don't know what to think of that. It's either Capricorn, which is work and career, obsessing over that, or um, and like I was talking about manifesting or praying with tarot cards, um, manifesting to the wrong thing, maybe hopefully not praying to the devil, but, um, in some addictive or obsessive energy in the heart chakra, not, not thinking about his life path at all. And he had many, you know, angel cards around him. I look at the uh, the higher fan right next to right next to that devil as you know either he's and that was in his throat chakra either being a, being a pastor or talking to pastors or maybe um, gurus or maybe he is a pastor maybe talking to divine guidance but not manifesting in his heart space the right things so that wasn't a really weird reading too so hopefully this one comes out better I'm I'm gonna do a fresh fresh badge tomorrow with all the signs again for the third quarter moon and hope hopefully we'll be releasing all that stuff so this is gonna be divine feminine and where she's at in her chakras from root to crown Oops. <laughs> Root to crown. And 
for the Divine Masculine, that second video, I was holding up that devil card for way too long. It was a really graphic card, so I hope I don't get kicked off YouTube for that. <laughs> holding that card up for so long. But it was interesting. So, for the Divine Feminine, Root Chakra, Sacral Chakra, Solar Plexus. to come up upside down so I'm gonna reverse that's the heart chakra <laughs> throat chakra third eye and the crown chakra higher self hmm. okay so I'm going to try this again <laughs> this is for divine masculine Root to crown. Okay. Root to crown for divine masculine. And the root chakra, it's nine of swords. Definite blockage. Sacral chakra, solar plexus, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye, and crown. Third eye. Six of swords. Okay, for the Divine Feminine, we have the Ace of Cups, so that's not a blockage, that's a new fresh start, and love of self, um, it looks like um, water down here, so Pisces Feminine, um, opening up, shooting up your energy. You're probably feeling it, feeling the flow. Um, yeah, you could be Pisces, um, Moon, or Sun, and your North Nodes, you know, in the fixed signs. So that's not a blockage at all. You're really raising your Kundalini emotionally, taking charge. So that's really good. For Divine Masculine in the Root Chakra Nine of Swords. So overthinking about starting something, you know, um, meditating, not, yeah, that's a definite blockage. Mars and Gemini. Mm, Mars is in Scorpio, so that's on the other side of the spectrum. But you might be a moon, North Nodes, Gemini, um, feeling this energy of needing to release these 
thoughts that are holding you holding you back from editing. So that's a de definite difference from the first two videos. It's definite blockage. Not feeling not feeling triumphant for sure. For divine feminine and the sacral. You have the Queen of Swords. Um, that was in the first video, I think. Uh, and the sacral is our sexual energy, which is all about creativity. So you could have sun or moon in Libra. And north nodes in the fixed signs. But this is, this is about knowing the truth. Needing to take off. I mean, you're taking off here and you're knowing the truth about yourself. You could also not be in your feminine energy, but masculine energy sexually and cutting off men's heads. No, <laughs> cutting off for men <laughs> or yeah. And it looks like there's an angel up here behind you and you're riding the waves. But your sword's down, so you may be healing also and knowing the truth about where you need to be energetically and sexually. And for Divine Masculine, in the Sacral Chakra, it's Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. So meaning we make life changes and choices about where you need to be, Taurus energy, Lord of material trouble. So, yeah, you're not feeling creative either. You're you may be stuck thinking about your pentacles, you need to make life choi choices and changes. You need to be more creative as well. Okay. And for divine feminine in your solar plexus, ace of scepters, which is ace of wands. Also a new beginning, uh, maybe you went outside today and spent a lot of time in the sun, you're feeling brand new, um, getting a spark of energy to take on the world, so this is really good. Yeah, Ace of Wands is new beginnings and your passion and your hopeful um, and your solar plexus is from the sun. You're out in nature and feeling the energy and about to take off it looks like so that's really awesome um, being next to the queen of swords so yeah you're passionate about knowing what to do next and for the divine masculine and your sacral chakra is the high priestess so you're knowing and intuitive about what to do, where to go. You're um, seeing it with your third eye, probably, about making, also could be um, feminine energy of knowing what to do. You also could have been in the sun today, maybe outside in nature. This is between two pillars. The high priestess to me is always about the north nodes. Um, because I know that these pillars are about duality, black and white, silver, and it says the priestess of the solar star, and there's the moon. So the high priestess for me is Taurus, and, or Cancer. So, yeah, you're really feeling this moon energy. I may have crazy dreams tonight. If you were out in nature today, you might have gotten some of those rays from the sun might have enlightened you a little bit. And the moon is definitely going to have an effect on you, probably tonight or in the next few days. Since, yeah, the third quarter moon's tomorrow. So, needing to release um, this and use this energy about making life changes and choices and moving into your high priestess. For divine feminine in your heart chakra. Yeah, I got this 
it kind of looked like this on the table, but so I flipped it over. It's the Queen of Spheres, it's the Queen of Pentacles, but it was flipped over in your heart space. So maybe you're not feeling it, you're not feeling abundant, um, you're not feeling your pentacles, you are fiery about it. So in your heart space, you may be stuck about what you love, what you want to do, where you need to go, but this is a new start, so this shouldn't be a blockage, but it looks like it is. Maybe you're not feeling as abundant as you should, but you need to use those lower, lower, um, chakras to boost you forward. For Divine Masculine in the heart space, Ten of Pentacles. So you're all about the pentacles, but you're feeling wealthy, healthy, abundant. So that's good for the heart space. Um, health means wealth, and there's Virgo again. The moon might be having an effect on you. And Mercury. Mercury's in Sag. So the sun's also there. So, yeah, you might be concentrating in your heart, loving your money. <laughs> loving, but wealth is good in the heart too. It's not poverty consciousness, so that's good. So that's not a blockage at all. For Divine Feminine, in the throat chakra, she has the Fool. And this is hard to explain. I'm seeing, hmm, um, <laughs> Maybe you feel like a fool in the throat chakra, which is issues I'm having, but, <laughs> um, or maybe you're taking off and starting something new. When God says jump, you know, you're jumping and telling, communicating, maybe talking with God, talking with your higher self. Communicating to others how you feel, communicating something new, something you feel passionate about, and you're taking the leap. So, in your throat chakra, it could be a lot of things. Hopefully, you're not talking to any fools, but or communicating that you're a fool. But yeah, positive affirmations and talking to God and communicating to others what you've learned from God. And for Divine Masculine, the Throat Chakra, Eight of Wands. So you're taking off somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm with Lord of Swiftness. So you're fast, frightening, like lightning. You're, you're speaking about what your passions are. This is, I also see this as Leo. Yeah. So you could have North Node, South Node, and Leo, Aqua. And you're being bold and fast at speaking what you need to communicate. And for Divine Feminine, in the third eye is Princess of Scepters. So that's wands. Princess, you're feeling good about yourself in your third eye. You're seeing yourself as something different, something else. And here we have Virgo, Leo, Cancer. So this could happen in these seasons. Your confidence is shooting, shooting up. So this fool is about taking a leap of faith. And you're, you're feeling confident about it. So that's good. And with this Queen of Pentacles. In your third eye. You're really seeing intuitively of what to do. And hopefully this will go away. So follow your guidance. With your intuition. And knowing what to do next. And for Divine Masculine. You have Nine of Wands. Which is also really good. Or um, maybe not. Uh, nine of Wands. <laughs> It, well, you went from the eight to the nine, so, um, when you add them up, it's still an eight. So, in numerology, 
So, it says Lord of Great Strength. So this is different than a normal tarot, tarot deck. You're taking off on battles that you think you can uh, accomplish. So that's better than the Aeon. And, you know, this is obviously Sagittarius energy. So, the sun's in Sagittarius, and you actually have, yeah, your high priestess. So, oh, this is your, yeah, this is <laughs> the third eye. So, you're seeing yourself as having strength. And intuitively, you know what to do next. You know about this journey, and you know that you can be a hero hero and you might be getting intuitive information about how you can be a hero in your life and to others and this is a warrior card so you're you know and here's the snake down here which is your south node so you could be a Sagittarius north node Gemini south node um, which is what I am in Vedic so yeah you're taking on this warrior energy um, uh, you have a lot of, yeah, uh, Sag, Sun. So, the Sun definitely is having an effect on you. And you're taking in that warrior spirit to to make a difference in your life. And intuitively knowing what to do next. So that's really good. And for Divine Feminine and for the Crown, you have the Queen of Scepters, which is the Queen of Wands. Who is also very bold and fiery and spicy and she's holding the pine cone. Um, so in your crown you are definitely feeling it. You may be a sun in Leo. Yeah. And taking on the Leo energy And knowing what to do next, higher guidance is telling you. And for Divine Masculine, and your crown is the Six of Swords. So this is, it says, Lord of Earned Success. So you're being divinely guided to know what your service is to others, how to, how to do that. And Mercury and Aqua and Mercury's in Sagittarius right now. So yeah, and Six of Swords I see is Libra. So you might have a sun or moon in Libra. And you're ready to serve others. You're ready to in you're in your knowing of what to do next. And this is sacred geometry to me. It looks like a sun and also that warrior spirit even though they're swords they're up and ready to fight for others and what you know so that was really good um only blockages i see for divine masculine five of swords and divine feminine or heart space queen of pentacles so your higher chakras which are above your head with the ethers, you might be getting guidance from your higher self about being artistic, which is these fixed signs of Leo and the Falcon is Scorpio. So yeah, your higher self is telling you to be creative, be in this Leo energy, Scorpio, Taurus. Yeah, Aqua. Um, yeah, you're definitely getting divine guidance from the universe about what to do. With the Queen of Cups, also emotionally knowing and in your feels about what to do. And seeing your reflection mirrored back to you. There's Gemini and Cancer. So you could have a, a Sun in Gemini. 
and your north node's in the fixed signs, or you could have Cancer in Mercury, and Mercury's in Sagittarius right now. So, and then the Seven of Swords. So maybe sabotaging yourself emotionally or artistically or just not knowing who to trust holding yourself back from what needs to be yours they're saying I think your angels are saying and there's the moon and Aquarius uh, I think is it Venus oh no yeah Venus is in Aquarius now I think so, yeah, making changes or seeing changes or knowing that something isn't right, even though you're emotional and artistic, maybe um, your angels are also trying to warn you of, of sabotaging these, these traits that you have. Because these are, this is sex, sexual energy and motherly energy. <laughs> and then, yeah, I think maybe you're just needing to know. Except there's a, she's holding a man's head. So, this might be your Capricorn self. Mm -hmm. And seven I see as Libra. So, you may, might be um, thinking stinking thinking or just maybe sabotaging um but I think you're you're good all the way here so this might be somebody else that they're trying to warn you about your higher self is telling you not to sabotage your life to make changes with others partnerships knowing that you need to make changes in partnerships in relationships the divine masculine our higher self ace of pentacles eight of swords and the wheel um yeah this came out last ace of pentacles is self-worth your higher self is trying to let you know about your self-worth that maybe your thinking needs to be transformed needs to start over your blocking you know the sun and, and this is your crown you're knowing this but then see here it's it's all blocked with swords and that's that's also stinking thinking <laughs> that's not yeah that's blocking that so your higher self is telling you take away this blockage because it's not really there or you can free yourself from it and and you can start something great and this says Lord of short and force so so it won't be long you'll you'll start changing this for yourself with this yeah release there's Gemini yeah release these thoughts that you're having and your wheel's gonna turn. You're gonna, you're gonna have abundance. And this is Lord of the Root powers of the earth. So yeah, that's kind of like the devil card when they put it like that. But it's actually self worth and having a new beginning. Oh, I don't know why they say the root of the powers of the earth. Or maybe you're, yeah, maybe you are rooted with the earth. Um, maybe you have crystals where you can root yourself, um, go out in nature. And it looks like you're doing that anyway, except for down here. So, you need to change these pentacles, pentacles, pentacles into a fortune. Yeah, getting the ten of pentacles. Which you do have in your heart space. I mean, you're feeling abundant. You're loving yourself. But. 
but maybe not feeling it with your creativity. You'll be more creative at this time. And this wheel will turn for you. Your higher self saying, transform your thoughts. And the wheel's going to turn because you have self-worth. So, I'll just do, um, i just clarify with a couple of these. That was a way better reading than any of the readings. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. Um, the other ones were strange to me. I'm not sure why. But they were. I'm getting better and better every time I talk in front of the camera, I think. Hopefully. Um, I'm used to being behind the camera. I'm not being on camera. Or talking on camera. I do readings for my family and friends. But this is so, this is a new experience that I'm pushing myself towards. So, I hope somebody watches that. Hopefully, I'll get a little more excited <laughs> in these few weeks. I'm really trying hard to okay. let it flow. So, let's see about Divine Feminine. I'm going to use this part. Part of the Queen of Pet. And what's going on with your heart chakra? I'll just. Ask that. Let's put Divine Feminine's Heart Chakra. Not feeling abundant, feeling abundant, but not taking action. And this is right in between the higher chakras are are the upper chakras are feminine energy, the lower is masculine, and right in the middle is the heart for both. So, Queen of Pentacles. Bottom. Organization. Your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organization and discipline to your methods. The key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual or seek out a mentor. So that makes sense. Um, my gurus are on YouTube, so <laughs> I look to them. Um, or just say positive affirmations, seek out a mentor, some of you look up to, maybe somebody that knows about spirituality, this is a four, so that's a, um, for home and stability, you need more organization, and then this will turn into this, queen of pentacles, you'll feel abundant in your heart space, you'll feel unmatched, and and can't be taken down by anyone. Yeah, this might be like being sad in your heart space. So organize and use logic and your creativity to fill the love. And there's guidance up here. That angel's blowing into his ear. So, yeah. Maybe it's about, yeah, it's cancer, so... Definitely feeling that eclipse energy, I think. Okay. And then I wanted to look at the Queen of Swords in your sacral. Cutting out with no longer serves you, so you might be releasing there. And knowing what to do next. A situation that, and this is Ten of Thoughts, um, that's swords. Uh, ten of Swords. A situation that's been troubling you has come to an end. And you can breathe, breathe a sigh of relief with the challenging times behind you. You can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may finally be free of his or her addictions or codependency issues. So it says he or she, his or her. 
finally be free. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her addictions or codependency issues. So, that might be talking about divine masculine in your life. Um, yeah. And maybe that's why you're feeling this way. Or cutting out things that no longer serve you. And also knowing the truth or knowing or feeling uh, in your sexual energy or creativity that this person has moved on. But this is trying to explain that. So you might be knowing of this or just finding out about this or going to hear about this. Soon. Really good. Okay. And then, so one more for this Seven of Swords. Is this self-sabotage or knowing cutting out relationships? <laughs> Healer of Emotion. Seven of Swords. This is the time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of of your emotions you may you may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to care for yourself flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insights you or another person is kind tender-hearted loving and a trustworthy friend so Chiron just went direct um, which is an asteroid in Aries and uh, he's the healer um, past life healer, um, this life healer, and that's, um, talking about our emotions or your emotions. So yeah, maybe you just need some healing. The higher self is telling you to heal from anybody that's taking advantage of you, any narcissist in your life, uh, the moon is going to be helping you with that. You might be having dreams um, that uh, emotionally you can trust, trust in divine, trust in any, any friends that you have that this is over. Yeah, so this might be, yeah, you getting over people maybe that have let you down and you need to heal you know from your higher self that's advice so that's nice okay so that's good I didn't know what that was so you're healing from something that passed and your higher self trying to let you know that you are emotionally sound with the Queen of Cups and to concentrate on that healing. I think art is, yeah, this is temperance. So that's a warrior spirit as well. You have a warrior spirit and you just need to heal. Okay, for divine masculine, let's look at the five of pentacles and the nine of swords. Yeah, so your lower chakras are your masculine energy is what needs to be raised. Although, you know, this moon energy, you see the sun's being blocked here. Despair and cruelty. You're really feeling the root chakra, so that's not getting you anywhere. But in your solar plexus, you know, you're getting this energy. Yeah, I'm telling you tonight. Um, which is December 17th, you'll be having a lot of crazy dreams. And the Moon and Sun are going to help you get rid of these thoughts. So, let's see what the angels have to say. Oh, these are Guardian Angel Tarot cards that I'm clarifying with. From Radley Valentine. I think they're cute. Three of Abundance. 
I guess I can do one for each. So Nine of Swords. Your passions will lead to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. And that's perfect for this, because that's right in your sacral it, for both of these. So, these are thoughts keeping you back from raising your kundalini, raising to your higher self. And these are um, earth energy, uh, which is also abundance and about creativity in your sacral. So, oh, that's a great card. Your passions will lead to your divine life purpose. So, creativity, creativity, <laughs> your creativity is stuck because it's in the sacral. So, make some life choices, life changes. This is three of pentacles. Mind, body, soul, divine, father, son, holy spirit talk to God and you'll have abundance but we'll do another one for the five of pentacles advice for the divine masculine oh got two healer of action this is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open you're being asked to do many things at once you won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference this card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. The person can handle difficult situations with grace. Awesome. And Ten of Action, which is Ten of Wands. You're working too hard. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life. Be willing to ask for help for, from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself. Straining to make others happy can be harmful to your health. And that sounds like most of the Divine Masculines I know. So, good advice. Okay, let's do Eight of Wands, which is in your throat chakra. And you're going somewhere fast, so let's see what that's about. So you're talking fast. Oh, we'll do it for in between the new ones. And this is strength in your third eye. So you're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first, but you probably don't have the time. So get busy, follow your instincts and have fun. You or someone you meet is very self-assured, capable, and enthusiastic, and can do anything with a smile. So, you might be a helper to someone, and you're taking quick action with your throat chakra, and in your mind's eye or your intuition, you're very powerful, and you're, you may be helping others. But you need to make a plan of how to do that. And that's the advice. Okay. And let's see about the crown. It says Lord of Earned Success. This is source. Serving others in New York. And serving others for God. So you're knowing what to do. So we'll just go into these higher chakras. The Eight of Swords, where you're stuck, but you know how to set yourself free. Let's see what the advice is for that. Higher self. Oh. Two of Emotion. A relationship grows closer as two people fall in love, or a current relationship grows much stronger. Friendships may deepen into a spiritual connection. Mutual respect and understanding exist or will develop. Don't give up on relationships that feel challenging to you. There is still hope. So this might be what's holding you back. But it's going to be... It's going to be non-existent if 
you don't give up. So, in your mind, or your higher mind, you might be emotional and needing friendship. So, trust, trust, trust your higher self and in God or divine or spirit. Okay, that was really good. I like that reading much better than the first two. <laughs> and I'm going to do a journey of love oracle just for love. Again, this is about your life purpose and where you might be stuck in your chakras. I'm going to take these off real quick. Um, but it looks like you both, Divine Feminine is very fiery. Um, you're in your thinking mode, my masculine. And not for, too many blockages, so I thought that was good. Not too many weird cards came out. <laughs> it's, they tend to do. In my, in my. When I read for myself, it never turns out like that. And for others, it's always like really lovey dovey and emotional for my friends, but. Um, and family. And for me, it's all over the place too, but. Um, not as wild as the energy from this past Gemini full moon. So we're moving on to the quarter, third quarter moon tomorrow. So that will be good. Make sure to release. Um, look at the beginning video for your north nodes and what to release. And if they all resonate with you, you know, pick pick the ones that resonate with you because it's all energy and we can change, you know, um, for one another. This is for Divine Feminine and Simplicity. She's a four. She got four in there. So, Divine Masculine. Spiral dance of the goddess and knowing without knowing. So for divine feminine, this is four for homo stability. You might need to simplify things. I'll read that. For divine masculine, you got spirit dance of the goddess, which is 29, which makes 11, which is a two. Um, so 11 is Archangel Michael. Um, two is your life purpose. And nine is about your journey. And knowing without knowing. Forty-one is four is home and stability. One is about manifesting. So and together it's a five, which is life choices and changes. Courage and light. So four. Simplicity for divine thumb. Bow to which is simple. You will find answers to your most complex issues and those questions that seem to defy the, possi the possibility of an answer. You will find the solution now through simplicity. Live one day at a time. Have gratitude for whatever you possibly can, even if you are yet to understand why you should be grateful because you cannot perceive the gift hiding within your struggles quite yet. Trust in the goodness of life, seeking to serve you into becoming the fullness of all that you are. Yes, beloved, even in your darkest night, the light of love is serving you. The most sophisticated of problems can re be resolved through a simple answer. Love, trust, have faith, and be patient. Wait, and you shall see. Let simplicity be. The oracle, this oracle brings you an answer. Everything is going to be all right. Don't add fuel to the fire and look for ways to sort out complicated mat matters prematurely. Sometimes ingredients need to cook and percolate so that they can become a meal. The circumstances with which you are struggling will write themselves in time. Stay present and be patient. Pray in your own way. Meditation, time in nature, dance, and l literally talk to the divine. When you need to take a clear, simple action, you will feel it. Relax and know it is, it is all going to work out for the best. And the poem says, there is a peace for one whose heart is open.
There is peace for one whose heart is open. Okay, Divine Masculine, 29 is spirit dan Spiral Dance of the Goddess. From a point of light unfolding, we become a soul. And the incarnate, then in, <laughs> sorry. From a point of light unfolding, we become a soul, then incarnate into a, a sacred body, and our lives become a work of divine art. A, sp a speck of heavenly presence manifesting itself through dimensions of time and space and into a life on earth made manifest. The extraordinary fact of your existence is a divine happening, as though the light of the moon is dancing not only upon the water, but inside of it. Your ancient light is dipping into the mud of the earth. This is how the soul becomes a divine human in the making. As you sense yourself moving and shifting from light to dark and back again, from knowing to unknowing, you are weaving your consciousness, your divinity into sacred expression, manifesting your soul essence into the form of your life, threading the light through, through the darkness without even realizing you are doing it. You are gently impregnating the matter of your body, of your life, with light. Your body and your... And your life become luminous. <clears throat> radiant and you assist others even just through your presence it sounds wonderful and it is yet it is not always an easy path as the light travels through darkness pain and suffering can arise in waves best to be present to it trust that it is not a permanent condition and wait for the spiral to twist from dark to light again always moving closer and closer to the purity of the center and expanding outward eternally as through as though you are being inhaled by the divine filling filling the cosmic lung, lungs filling cosmic lungs as they reach far and wide taking in all life the message of, of this oracle to you is that you are growing you are bringing more of your light into form you may be meeting obstacles in yourself and in the world but this is because you are bringing through the light if there were nothing happening, there would be no obstacle. Bless them as signs that you are proceeding and empower them no more. You shall be. All else is just divine timing. Let me say that again. Bless them as signs that you are proceeding and empower them no more. You shall be. All else is just divine timing. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. And the poem says, the inner movement, an expressive flow, an outward breath of dance and light, becoming one, becoming free. I'll say it again. The inner movement, an expressive flow, an outward breath of dance and light, becoming one, becoming free. I love the poems in this. And for Divine Masculine, we get this one, 41. Knowing without knowing. Let me take a drink. Ah, oh, okay. Sometimes the heart knows in a way that the concrete mind and memory cannot. We feel something that we cannot quite express. Perhaps others are quick to dismiss it as meaningless whimsy or irrationality. Yet that feeling beyond the mind's capacity to fully perceive is the ancient truth of your greater self reaching through time and space to connect with you. Like a phone line extending from a more ancient place in the world, you can hear it crackle perhaps. Not the clearest reception, yet you can also sense the love traveling along that telephone line. The things that you feel and that do not, just, and that do not appear to make sense are the things to trust most now you are being guided by a force far greater than your own mind an ancient divine brilliance is reaching is reaching to you communicating to, with you you may not hear or understand it with clarity yet as of yet but you can feel it trust what you feel this oracle speaks to you of the opening of your higher mind 
of the part of your intelligence that can dialogue directly with the forces of divine guidance and creation. These forces use symbols, abstract communication through dreams and visions, through impulses that circumvent your consciousness, conscious mind and have words streaming out of your mouth or flowing through your mind. I'm going to say that again. Through impulses that circumvent your conscious mind and have words streaming out of your mouth or flowing through your mind that you have created of your own volition. Someone speaks to you and you respond with words you feel you are hearing for the first time as they pour out your mouth. Whose words are these, you wonder? It is your ancient, ancient self that speaks. Trust the strange and mysterious at this time. It is another way, an ancient, an ancient way of wisdom that you are tapping into now. Enjoy the new sacred connection unfolding. This oracle is also confirmation that you have relationships around you now and continuing to come to you that are from times long past, karmic connections that will take you further on your journey of love. Wow, that's really complicated. Um, yeah, I don't even understand. <laughs> I'll have to watch this again. But knowing without knowing, the poem says, I have been here before. Aromas open the doors. I walk through knowing. Let me say that again. I have been here before. Aromas open the doors. I walk through the knowing. Or I walk through knowing. That's complicated too. That is deep. Okay, one more time. I have been here before. Aromas open the doors. I walk through knowing. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way I said it. Cool. Well, I hope you liked this reading. I really did. It was much better than the last one. Last two. I'm going to do some more for tomorrow, the third quarter moon in Virgo. Which is about serving others with love and light. Uh, the moon is about the mother, the communication we're getting, and the mutable signs. So check out your north node and your south node to know your life purpose. Thank you for watching. Love, light, and flamage is my new saying.